<laughs> What's up, my beautiful subscribers? Well, oh, he gets a little dirty there. Well, good morning. Today is February twelfth. So as I was say, as I was gonna say, I started this video, and the title is gonna be a uh, new windshield <laughs> for Can Am X three. It came. I ordered it from Amazon. Came later than two days. You know, nice windshield. I'm sure right now. I just got it from FedEx. You know. So I was gonna do a little build series. I just gotta talk about the Can Am that I did to it. So I was gonna do a little build series of the Can Am, and it complied at all. But I don't know when these other parts are getting here, and I wanna update you guys with the, what I'm doing to my bike. I don't wanna just poof, put everything on the spot. So yeah, so I'm gonna do each part of time. So the windshield came in first. So I'm gonna show you the windshield how it looks. I got a blacked out tinted half windshield for Can Am X3. Oh my gosh, it looks so sexy. So sexy. <laughs> Haven't even opened it, but I just know it's gonna look sexy. So what I've done to my bike so far, I just wanna give you an update. I lowered her. I lowered her three inches. As you see, I put the shocks all the way up. <laughs> Almost broke my hands last night because of that, you know. I don't know if you can tell, look at all that. Yeah, that's twisted and turning shocks. Very easy, I was gonna do a video on it, but you know, kinda got happy and forgot to pick up the camera. So I just turned the shocks. Um, 14.9 in the front inches of ground clearance, and then I'm 15 and two in the back. And she's low as shit, it's the XMR. Look, look at my tire right here. She's actually really low. I don't know if you guys can tell. Like I say, I'm standing next to it. Well, it's on a trailer, but you get the process. My waist is like to my trunk level. So I lowered her, what else did I do? Oh, I guess, I don't know if I told you guys this. Last weekend when I was riding, <laughs> yeah um that happened <laughs> i could put the whole gopro through it yeah that happened so my exhaust you know i didn't know that where my exhaust and my turbo i had a leak right there and uh i almost caught a fire i was i didn't do a video because i didn't have the camera rolling <laughs> i'm sorry for that yeah so that happened and yeah so then i ended up putting uh shout out to mara motorsports i'm gonna put the their link down below they do awesome work for all can ams they put a new see that little chrome thing there little to the turbo it looks so nice there's the little um, line right there everything's the fitment and then they fit my coolant line because it burnt my whole coolant line put a new coolant line right there freaking beautiful work there so yeah um and then what else i'm putting so that so that i lowered my bike that's what i was going to do so the build series uh is lowering my can which i did the other day now i'm putting it on the half windshield which you're going to see today I'm doing part by part because obviously like I said before when the video started I'm not gonna do the whole thing because not everything's freaking here so and I want to do a video so then I'm also I'm gonna put the link when I sell it because I'm gonna take off that whole big ugly roof and the light bar getting rid of that whole roof and I'm putting this thing which I'll show a picture <laughs> right here it's a lowered um, black roof and I'm getting rid of these tubes right here it's like a cut cage is gonna look like but for really cheap all right so that's what's coming so the roof the tubes that makes it's gonna look flat so that's gonna be gone and my roof's gonna look straight level not like bumped up it's gonna be flat it's gonna look sick and then what else and then i might take these off and throw some big horns on it which i'll show you the big horns right now oh yes and here's the nortec if you saw my girl it's my my little girl me and my pop have hit like 70 on that thing very sketchy because it's light boat but summer oh my goodness summer there's gonna be crazy content with the boat and tubing and tubing and lots of ass. I mean, beautiful woman and uh, of course, beautiful woman, my friends. Be a lot of summer, a lot of content coming with that, but that's in summer. So now, oh, let me show you the big horns. So these are the big horns I'm gonna put on. They're 29 inch big horns. So I'm gonna be spinning like a mother, but look how fresh they are. All four, fresh as crap. So I'm gonna put these on later. 29 inch big horns on my old beadlock wheels, which are right here. And yeah, so let's, I'm in class right now. Let's open these freaking windshields, man. Let's open this windshield. All right, let's look at it. I'm gonna set you guys down real quick. <laughs> All righty, let's get to work. Uh, nah. All right, let's open it up. Okay, got my drill. Ooh, I like the sound of that. Oh, how much? Oh, you guys are about to run out of battery, dude. Charge up. Or else you're not gonna see it. Let's open her up. Beautiful, beautiful girl. Now, this is a very good cutting knife. You can survival task with this knife. Zombie apocalypse knife, you know? Oh my chicken wave. <laughs> She's so beautiful, witchy. Look at this girl. Look at this girl. I hope that's all the mountain part. Oh my, oh my. <laughs> Do you see what I'm seeing? 
<laughs> yeah, nothing. Haven't opened it yet. <laughs> Look at this thing. So I'm guessing this is the hardware. If not, the windshield's gonna be tie wrapped. That's the hardware there. Let's open this girl up. It's kind of hard to vlog and open things up. Sorry. Oh wow, this thing is sexy. Really sexy, man. Oh my goodness, look at here. Look at here. Wow. Very nice. I'm so excited. I'm excited as you guys are. Wow, look at that thing, dude. Wow. Very nice. I don't know which way it goes on, but this, wow, look at that tinted windshield. <gasps> All right, let's go put it on. Let's go put it on. All right, I'll see you guys when I'm putting it on. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you already know what we got. Stickers, baby. <laughs> I don't know why we've got these stickers. No reason. But look at this mother suckers. Can it, okay, should I put it right here on the front window? I don't know which way is front, which way is back. I think it's this way. I think it goes like that. I don't know. Oh, yeah, it goes like this. Yeah, it goes like that. Should I put this on the front or just keep this blacked out? Like, should I put it right there? I don't know. It's not going to look really nice. Nah, no, it won't look right. So I'll just put it like, <coughs> blacked out. <laughs> yeah, okay, we gotta go get to work. Gotta go get to work. <laughs> okay, this should be fairly easy, right? <laughs> but you know, always at the Matthew Nunez Mechanic, Matthew Matthew Mechanic Henry Nunez Headquarters, sometimes stuff gets difficult. For some apparent reason. <laughs> for some apparent reason. All right, so back at the Matthew Nunez Headquarters, already breaking stuff. Matthew Nunez Mechanic gets to work now. Let's hope it's easy. Seems pretty easy, you know? It's just putting on a windshield, little bolts. All right, so we're gonna get one right here. Okay, wow, there goes my drill. So we really don't have a drill that works right. <laughs> okay, there goes one screw out. Nice and handy, put it right there. We'll put it right there. Well, that was easy, <laughs> took it off already. <laughs> Two little screwies. <laughs> Two little screwies. Here and there. We'll get the other one. Alrighty. Nice, man. Nice. Nice work, dude. Man, you guys are doing so good already. Okay. Now, the moment of truth. The satisfying part. Will this come off? Wow. <laughs> that was easy. Okay. <laughs> Let's go put the new one on. <laughs> Alright, this better not be hard. Seems fairly easy in there, you know. Fairly easy. Okay, let's get to work. Oh my god, ah! Almost, almost fell there, man. Almost fell. Wow, look at that girl. So I think we got a drill hole right there. See that little bit? It's gonna go through there. It's gonna come through. And then that should be just be slip on right in there. All right, man, let's get to work. This look, look how, look how mean that looks, dude. I always wanted this windshield. Wow, wow. Wow, 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 guys. I've always wanted this windshield, but I never thought it looked that good. <gasps> wow, okay. Let's go ahead and put her on. Let's do this. I think I'm gonna get to the part where it's just mounted, because it's gonna take me probably two hours and I don't wanna waste memory, you know? So, let's mount her real quick. So let me just show you how the mount goes, because I can't really camera and do a drill at the same time, okay? All right, so we're gonna drill little holes right there, and little holes right there. And then it's just going to strap right there. And it's going to strap right there. And we're going to see the aftermath. And it's going to be a sick mother sucking can MX3 windshield math mechanic. Review and put on. This is kind of a put on. This is not really like a showing how to put on. You know what I mean? Like a put on. Fast forward to put on. All right. So let's get to work. <laughs> oh. Oh. Okay. So I guess my knowledge did grow a little. Hey, come here, baby. Where are you going, girl? Where are you going? <laughs> okay, so back to the subject. Um, you guys are still a little dirty. So, um, yes, my knowledge did just grow a little, you know. So I'm gonna tell you how to put this windshield on now because it did it did grow a little bit. The nougat grew, the the little noodle grew. <laughs> Who could have knew? Um, so what you're gonna do? Uh, so. In Canon MX3, you're going to bolt off all these three bolts. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. So, you can get under, and you can place this guy. So, you're going to make two holes. So remember, I showed you the two holes are right there. So, these are the two holes. And when you get the package of your half beautiful windshield, the hole that you put in 
is gonna be on the right side all the time, the screw. And it's gonna go like, wait, oh, it's gonna go like this, watch. It's gonna go like this. And this fitment's gonna place right into this hole. That hole's gonna be with the screw. And what you wanna use, I'll tell you which one to use. You're gonna use a, what, what number was it? Fudge, I kinda forgot the number. Oh no. So you're gonna use this, one, this drill bit real quick for the left hole, cause you got the left hole's a little thicker and bigger. And for the right hole, you're gonna use this one. So you're gonna use, uh, what was it, one eighth? A one eighth to do the screw, the screw, like the screw hole on the right side with the screw is the one eighth. And then this one is a three and sixteenth for the left side. And boom, it'll pop right into place and then you just clip on the little windshield. That's it. Alrighty guys, knowledge did grow. <laughs> okay, okay. So one more thing that these people didn't tell you. No one tells you that you have to actually cut a little spot right there for your candy and just like a little thing, you know. <laughs> we brought the big old girl back. <laughs> so I just did a little cut right there. Any knife is uh, applicable. And see, because look, if, if that plastic was still there, it wouldn't close. Now, we got a solid close and a solid open and a solid close. Because with this plastic that I cut off, it would never close. So just to let you know, got to cut a little plastic there. See, look, now I'm doing a little how-to, guys. We're getting more knowledge. I see you're getting knowledge. All right, so you got to cut a little hole, and your windshield is fully done. This is the hardest part, because the other part is just, <laughs> you just snap that on, and you, you have to carry it on. That's all you got to do. All right, so catch you guys in a second when the thing is fully on. That's when I'll show you the after view. All right. <laughs> and here we are. <laughs> the end of the video. The moment of... <laughs> Truth. Wow, look at that girl, bro. That girl looks mean. You see that black tint? Oh, I want to see how it looks inside. Never went inside. I wonder if I can see. Wow, look at that girl. Oh, oh. So there's the full windshield review. Of course, they're on. Those pieces are a piece of craps, man. Freaking shitters are take forever. Shitter mother shickers. So yeah, they're both on. Those big pieces. There's the half tinted windshield for Can Am X30. For end the video. These are the easiest part. All you do is clip this on right here. See those little clips right here? That just pops in on both sides and you're in it. Wow, let me see the inside. Oh, you like my salt steering wheel? Thank you. Wow, that bitch looking mean. Oh, can I see over it? Ooh, cause it's kind of like trippy when I'm driving it. All right, well, we're fine. That's the end of the video. Please come in more. So the next product's gonna be either the tires and wheels putting put on or the nice roof and my tube cage, my cut tubes, which makes it look flat as crap, a black lowered roof, and it's gonna be like to right here. The roof's gonna go all the way to like right here, come down with a visor. Oh my goodness, so that's gonna be the next video. And yeah, I don't know when the tires are gonna come on, but that'll be the next video, those parts coming on. Thanks for watching. <laughs> what are you doing over there? All right, always like, subscribe, share with others, and have a great day today. I'm going riding this weekend. Hope you guys go riding. Love you guys. Remember guys, this is your hardware, just wanna end off. This, you're gonna use a drill. Of course, to drill your left side, which is always the big hole, and then your where your screw goes with this one, which I'll tell you right now, the left side, the big hole is gonna be a three and sixteenths, and then the right side is gonna be a, a nine and 64. Nine and 64 for the screw. Left side for the big hole is a, fa a three and 16. And of course, you need your little screw butts to take out the T30s. And that's it, buddies. Right there. It's all your hardware. <laughs> Thank you for watching.